Okay. okay. We're rolling. Hi, my name is David Leba Ungerhart. I've been doing the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show now since 1988. And it's a puppet show that I do teaching kids to say no to drugs with Bible stories. I was very fortunate to have uh, Jim Henson as a Sunday school teacher. And I've been doing this puppet show teaching kids to stay in school and say no to drugs and, and read the Bible and the better one's life. And it's, wow, it's been a... It's been a 12-year-long journey. I, I'm a professional actor. I used to be on Good Times. I used to be on, on different various TV shows in the past. I'm SAG and after talent, and no one gets paid for public access. And I air a con 170 public access shows clear across the United States. Why don't you tell us about the puppets that are in your show? Okay, Chip the Black Boy, he's the main star of the show. He uh, is the, he's like Kermit the Frog was to Jim Henson. He is, is the lead. He is the main character that teaches kids the Bible stories. And he reads from Science and Health. And then my guests read the Bible stories. And then I used to have Albert Herman. Albert Herman, if anybody out there can send repair buddy for Albert Herman. Uh, one of the fans stole his body. So Albert Herman, who was on the show from 1988 to 19, uh, uh, 96, his body was stolen. And so um, I replaced him with uh, Alto Kaiser. Alto Kaiser is a puppet. He's his second lead on the show. And then I have Doug the Dog, I have Louie Louie, I have uh, Llama Dog, I have, um, I have, my show's even had spinoffs, just like Petticoat Junction came from All in the Family, and the Jeffersons came from uh, All in the Family, and Maude came from All in the Family. I had a, I've had several spinoffs. I've had public access spinoffs. Spiritual Thinking with Michael Boyd was a spinoff from my show. This is the script, this is the producer's script. Um, what I do is I, I, I type um, uh, out the Bible passages I'm going to use on the show, and then I read from like that, um, and then this is the producer's copy. Now the guest copy is like this. Now the guest reads the Bible passage. The, the guest is uh, a second reader. He reads the Bible, the King James Version. Um, I also use the Catholic Version. Um, and this is what my guest reads. My guest reads what's in red, and I read in the uh, chip. The black boy reads in black, and uh, we'll take a topic, like well, to teach the kids love. We we'll use all the Bible passages in the Bible on love, mm -hmm. and all the hymns and songs we sing about love, and that's uh, the uh, second reader's copy. And then we use the, the Christian Science uh, quarterly. Uh, my guest reads what's in red, I read uh, what's in black. The little bl bl puppet reads the chip the black boy. Would you like me to bring out some of my puppets? I would. Okay, I got, um, we got to hide behind it, the thing. Hi, my name is Eddie Teddy, and I am the soloist on the show. Yeah, Eddie Teddy is the soloist on the show. I sing all the beautiful operatic music. I do sing all the operatic beautiful music. All of it, yeah. And there's other puppets that are on the show. Uh, there's Doug the dog. I've seen Doug before. Hi, my name is Doug the dog. And I've been on the show ever since 1988. Today on year 2000. And I can sing, I can sing... Oh, uh, Jingle Bells and Bark. Would you like to hear you do Jingle Bark Bells and, and, and Bark for you? Yes. Woof, woof, woof! Woof, woof, woof! Woof, 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 woof! Woof! Well, I've been on this show ever since 1988 to year 2000. Mm -hmm. I've been an oldie but goodie on the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. I'm one of his favorites. I'm on every show just about. And what's, uh, how's David to work with? Is he a good guy to work with? Oh, he gives me a lot of hand. He stuffs me with his hand. I wish he would feed me some food some shanks. I'm on a diet. All I get is hand. I'm tired of just tasting hand. What's your favorite part of the show, Doug? Oh, I like to be the soloist. I like to sing the songs. Uh, Do you get a lot of solos? I get most of them. I sing most of the church hymns. Yeah. And then, what do you think of Chip and, and the panda bear? I can't remember his name right now. Well... I think they're more his favorites. Yeah. 
He uses them a little bit more than me. Well, I'm going to start using you more. You get better, or I'm going to sign a new contract. I ain't going to go on strike like the MTD, like the RTD buses. If you don't use me more, I'll use you more. I'll use you more. I don't want you to go on strike on me. Hi, my name is Chip, and I'm the star of the Junior Christian Science Bible Lesson Show. I've been on TV a long time with David. I've even had a facelift. I used to look like a girl and he made me get a haircut. So Chip, and how long have you been working with David? Well, I've been on the show since 1988. We did our first show at the Church Church of Christ Scientists in Yucaipa, California. So you must get a lot of fan mail. I get fan mail. Yeah, what kind of fan mail do you get? Well, people, sometimes I get real nice positive fan mail, people that like the show. But once in a while I get fan mail from those prejudiced southerners that don't like colored people. Yeah, and what do they say? They say, why don't you get your gut, oh, well, I can't swear now. They say, why don't you just, why, we're Republicans. We don't want to see no Democrat black boy on the show. What why, do you think, why don't they like you, why don't you think? Well, they're prejudiced, you know. Yeah, but I love all people equally, and that's what I'm teaching them how to do. And another thing, I've done, I did a show that I never did before. Our government is hiding that UFOs exist. Mm -hmm. Anybody that used to be in the military or in the military will tell you that the government is hiding the existence of UFOs. They have, uh, and, they, and um, that's where the computers, the music just came from. Uh, and uh, they're hiding it from the public. And uh, uh, I feel that stinks. I feel that our government should let the people know that UFOs really do exist, and they do. Uh, um, so uh, I uh, uh, did my first show called uh, Four Episodes is uh, Are UFOs and Bible Stories Real? And I did four episodes of it on Delphia Cable. And, it, and, and I felt that's the most exciting show I ever did. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because I'm letting kids know that, that, that we're not alone in the universe and that there's other people out there and other stars and other planets. And, and it's recorded in the Bible. It's recorded in all religions. Have you ever seen a UFO? Yes, I did. I uh, saw a UFO with my ex-wife when I lived in San Bernardino. Looked like a large uh, frisbee, silver with red and green lights when I was above Mount Santa Central and Palmer Lake. I saw a UFO um, when my parents, I had an abduction experience. My parents moved out to Park Forest, Illinois, which is the suburban area of um, Chicago, 65 miles out. And in 1968, when I was 14 years old, I had my first abduction experience. My parents, had, I stayed in a cottage away from the house. And uh, it, was a, it gets very hot and humid in, very hot and humid in Illinois. And I felt these something touching me all over my body in the bed. Next thing I knew, I screamed, and it looked like you, you, you have missing time when you're abducted. I've, next thing I knew, I was carried out of my apartment, transferred in the light. They took samples of my hair, samples of my skin, and they uh, talked to the extraterrestrials talk to you telepathically. They told me, we're not here to hurt you, but to sample you just like a kid taking a fish out of a lake, so just plays with a fish and throws it in and the, back in the lake after finishing fooling around with it. And that's what we're doing with you. And I have marks on my arm, a silicone that have never been taken out. Um, I was abducted and um, I found myself, after they abducted me uh, as a 14 year older, they let me out on the lawn in the dew. It was the most scariest experience I had as a child.